Hello, racers! It's a lovely day outside and we are back in Marble World for yet another elimination race here at Marble World Grand Prix. But this one... Oh, <laughs> this one. I would like to welcome you to one of my greatest, most elaborate creations yet. Welcome to Castle Chaos! Many marbles might make their way through this most mystical and marvelous mad mishmash of medieval manic mayhem, but mere mortals may be manhandled by this massive monster of malicious magic and madness where most marbles may be missed. But a minuscule minimum of marbles with maximum might and moxie may make their mark. This grand elimination racetrack twists and turns, automatically changing its very shape to fit the number of racers on it via a set of complicated calculations. No, seriously, it, it's complicated. <laughs> But this way, the track ensures whether it's a nightly duel between two marbles or a kingdom's horde of 2,000 raging into battle, it's always gonna be interesting. And today, we are pitting 112 racers against each other. However, only 10 will reach the finish line, three of which will take the podium, and only one will take the gold. But if you get eliminated, don't lose hope. There are two sections through the track where eliminated marbles can fight it out for a chance to get put back in the race. So without further ado, let's meet our racers and see what's different this time around. Team Red is real-life friends, online friends, content creators, chocolate, and you. Yes, you. You may notice Team Orange, usually dedicated to my past Patreon supporters, is different. Long story short, most of them aren't active and it was a whole lot of marbles named after people who don't actually watch marble videos as far as I know, and it just seemed like a waste to have a quarter of the marbles named after them. So I moved the few who do watch my videos to other teams to give you, my loyal viewers, a better chance at winning. I still wanted a fourth team though, so I thought, until I get some patrons I can name Orange Marbles after, Orange Team will be inhabited by productive tasks for you. If one of these marbles wins the race, you, the viewer, have to do what it says. This could be only if an orange marble wins the race, or if you're really on a self-improvement kick, you can decide to do whatever orange marble finishes first says, or whatever orange marble reaches the podium. Are you game though? You gotta be on board for this. Are you? Good. Either way, if you'd like to help support me in creating things like this, and getting a shiny orange marble named after you, consider donating to my Patreon. Link is in the description. Team Blue is you lovely YouTube commenters, anyone who left a comment on my marble videos in the past year. If you'd like to join, leave a comment letting me know what you thought of the video, which I really appreciate, and I will add you to Blue Team. Team Green is the Chaos Brigade, a collection of random phrases I found funny or podcasts I listen to. They're just here to shake things up. 112 marbles enter the race, but only one can be the winner. Who's going for the throne and who's a court jester? It's time to find out in 5, 4, 3, Two, one. And they're off, heading down the Scramble Tower and into the castle. They get scrambled around by the spinners as they head down. Who will take to the sides and who will take the turbo lane? It seems Sir Stressed is the first one to grab the lead, followed quickly by Dorfox and Yelly M. Uh, as they all rush down to the first lift, we can see our initial order of marbles right now. Here they come, getting split up into the lift with Sir Stress and Door Fox on the first rung of the lift, followed by Eat a Healthy Thing and Yelly M in the second rung. Uh, some other marble is after them, followed by all the other racers. This is just the initial position though, we are about to head into the track itself. Door Fox and Sir Stress are first off the lift, Door Fox taking a shortcut to quickly head down the grand stairway. While Dorfox is making quick work of that stairway, uh, Elad is in second place, followed by everyone else sort of scrambling to try and catch up. Whoever makes it first out of the grand stairway will be granting themselves the pole position for the uh, rest of the race. Here comes Dorfox, Elad is right behind, followed by so many people. It seems Victor Galato, Mark Gosno, and a confused horse are behind them. Oh, but you! Sneak into third place! Go you! Dorfox, Elad, and you all head down the spirals and uh, into the first stopper. Dorfox triggers the stopper and you and Elad are right behind them. As our worker marble starts rolling down the slopes, it gives our other marbles a time to catch up. But if you weren't quick enough to make it to one of the stoppers up ahead, then you will be held back. You're gonna have a little more uh, distance, you're gonna have to catch up. 
but here comes the worker marble to push the button and release everyone. Here we go, about to hit that button, and the drawbridge is open and all the marbles are now released. Dorfox, you, Moot, and Seeda, as well as Elad, all head into the next part of the race, heading up the quick lifts, while everyone else tries to snake in through the narrow path. Dorfox heading up into the second lift, followed by you and Seeda. These lifts do not travel at the same speed, meaning if a marble has enough speed, it just might overtake someone heading into the second lift. You already know our leaders, but behind them, this is the current situation. We already lost two marbles who fell off the sides at the first obstacle. Those would be a confused horse and a tornado. But the rest of our racers are now heading into the rotating blades. Who will stay on track and who will fall off? Dorfox heads down, stays on track, as do you and Seedaw. Uh, it seems our first batch is all racers who managed to stay on track, stable, great technique, and heading down into the slope. But oh no, BJM Club Vlogs YouTube has fallen off a track as, as well as Existentially Exhausted Bean and Spazentis. Oh, Seedaw is catching up, passing Dorfox. Uh, you are still in third place. It's a messy battle for first as more and more people fall off at the blades. Seedaw hits the lift first as uh, Dorfox is close with them. As everyone else mad scrambles to try and catch up. There are no more marbles at the rotating blades. Therefore, if you see your name on screen right now, then congratulations. You are making it to the next leg of the race. Seedaw and Dorfox are up in first. Elad is quite a way behind them, followed by Moot and you. Seedaw heads off the lift and down onto the roof, heading into the building, but Dorfox is fighting for that first place. Seedaw and Dorfox collide. Seedaw coming out in the lead, but Dorfox is quick on their tail, followed by Elad and Moot. Sida heading into the bunny hills, but no, they did not make it well, and they have actually fallen off the bunny hill, heading back. They're gonna have to take the stairwell back up into the track as Dorfox grabs the lead. Many other marbles seem to be struggling with that first bunny hill, but many others make it right through with Dorfox in the lead, and Moot, you, and three beads in a trench coat, followed by Aquaron and Mehdi Buzari. Now that our marbles are at the stopper, the beacons are lit and we are waiting for them to reach their destination and release the first worker marble, well not the first one, but a worker marble that will help us progress through the track. More and more marbles are gathering at the stopper as the worker marble arrives and knocks the stopper away, letting everyone go through to the next part of the race as everyone gathers at the ladder. The story is not over for our worker marble who keeps heading down the track. Out of 100 racers that are still on track, 64 have currently made it to the next leg of the race. Uh, the, the folks still behind need to hurry if they want to make it before the gate closes. And the worker marble triggers the, the tower, which is basically a timer changing based on how many marbles are currently in the race. The more marbles there are, the longer it takes for the worker marble to reach the uh, finish line and let the other worker marble continue and close the gate. Who will make it, who will not? Din Nguyen makes it, as does second place. The Amelia Project makes it in, and the worker marble triggers the gate, closing it. Everyone still behind. I'm sorry, last place, Chris Lawson, Talti, and Aftershock. You will not be progressing to the next part of the race. But fear not, you may just make it back on track in one of the gladiatorial combat arenas that will let uh, a few discarded marbles back on track. Our marbles head up the, uh, the ladder with EPA Sketch, GLEM, Shady Plays, and Sir Stressed in the lead. They trigger an explosion that releases all the trapped, discarded marbles from their cage. Aqua Run making an Aqua Run for first place, but oh, falling off as uh, into uh, the longer route 
as well as Dwarf Fox, but uh, close some tabs, Myron and Dwarf Fox all make it to the next part of the race uh, after some of them having taken some shortcuts, namely this one. And they are now all settling into their seats as the audience for our first gladiatorial combat, which will let one of our discarded marbles back on track. If your name is currently on screen, then you have a chance of making it back into the track and race with all the other racers for the win. And we are about to hit 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The doors open and Aftershock makes it out of the gladiatorial combat as the winner and is pushed back on track as the gates open and all our marbles continue down their path with Clockwork Giant and Aqua Run in the lead followed by Prime VR, Eat a Healthy Thing, EPA Sketch, Myron and Close Some Tabs. For a team as small as they are right now, Team Orange is doing very well. Marbles who are in the lead will get a better chance of not getting cut in the next parts of the race. But alas, such things don't matter here. Here it's all about technique as marbles try to avoid falling into the pit below. Eat a healthy thing is grabbing the lead, followed by Bloodness and Clockwork Giant. A few marbles falling into the pits, such as Uribogen, close some tabs. Uh, we, yeah, Elcat, we have a lot of folks falling off. Toes Not Foes grabbing a shortcut, bypassing several racers. Door Fox speeding on down the track with Eat a Healthy Thing and Toes Not Foes, ah, Toes Not Foes getting dragged back by the conveyor belt. As does a butt, Myron, oh, and we have EPA Sketch rushing down the uphill slope. Look, that doesn't make sense, but whatever. And into the next part of the track. Door Fox makes it out of the lift and hits the stopper. Other marbles will have five seconds to try to catch up, and we do have a few right on Door Fox's tail, with EPA Sketch using the momentum to bypass Dorfox entirely and head into the bridge. EPA Sketch glides through that bridge very gracefully, followed by so many other marbles. Oh, geese do not! They fall into the gutter track. Other marbles are still struggling through. Oh, and we have flaming potatoes falling off the track. Oh no! It seems while we were looking at that, Dorfox and Toes Not Foes both fell into a trap and are currently being carried off the track. Meaning EPA Sketch and some other marble are currently in the lead. Nice comment, send someone a fun video pic and Blood Miss as well as Decrypted Cat have also fallen into the traps. Followed by Elmedi Buzari, Doronen, Sir Stress and Connor Plays. Alright, it seems... Uh, everyone else has made it through the track pretty much and are heading into the next section. EPA Sketch and some other marble currently have the lead, but will they be able to hold on to it? Behind them, we have Rinke, the developer of Marble World, the Adventure Zone, and leave a positive review on something. Samantha, Tomix, and the Duolingo Owl are right behind them, and second place. The marbles get released onto the next part of the track with Samantha in the lead, but will that benefit them? The marbles collide in midair, sending some billionaire and Teodoro Pereira first down to the next part of the track. Some billionaire reaching the drawbridge first, followed by Teodoro some, uh, and uh, a butt. Uh, a worker marble has been released, and now marbles have a limited amount of time to make it to the drawbridge before they are left behind and the gate is closed off. You are still in the race, it seems, as you rush down right in time, followed by uh, Gluglo and Witchy. The worker marble makes its way down the track and triggers the button closing the gate. Some Tribbles and Dragon Live, I'm sorry you've been eliminated, as the rest of our marbles hurry on down the track. Rinke, a butt warming closet, Poe, Max and Lily have seemed to have grabbed the lead, followed by all our other racers. If your name is currently on screen, congratulations, you are still in the race. Rinke is 
quick to show everyone what he's made of since he is the developer of this game and head down into the lift here on the island. This is a double-decker bridge, meaning the top track is for marbles still in the race and the bottom track is for marbles who have been eliminated. Some billionaires first, followed by Prime VR, Amsu, Poo, and the Amelia Project. Some billionaire heading into the cog wall first, but will he make it? Yes, it seems money does give you power to climb cogs, who knew? Uh, they are followed by some other marble as Amsu struggles to get up the wall, uh, followed by Rinke, Max and Lily in the Adventure Zone. As they go round, it seems most other marbles are managing- no, never mind, a lot of marbles are falling off struggling with the wall. Some billionaire heading down the splitter uh, and reaching the stopper. It, oh no, it seems some other marble has taken the wrong path, followed by uh, Max and Lily, and they have fallen into elimination. You gotta choose the right path here, folks, otherwise you may have to battle it out in the next gladi gladiatorial arena. Arepas, Tallard 9 plus 1, Mark, and Bwah have all made it into the audience in our next section. This is the final chance for marbles who have been eliminated to get into the track. And yes, once that uh, green flipper is triggered, the gate will open and just one or two marbles will be left back onto the racetrack. Who will it be? It seems that it's Liam Helia! Hell yeah! <laughs> they have been let onto the track and congratulations! Liam Helia, uh, you have been granted a second chance at winning as the rest of our races are released from the audience and onto the final part of the track. It's too crowded up front to really know who's in the lead, but Teodoro Pereira is a little bit lagging behind. Uh, everyone tries to make it past the pushers, but leave a positive review, Bois, and you have fallen off, as well as a butt! Oh, I'm so sorry, you! Aftershock and Teller 9 plus 1 currently have the pole position as they head into the f spinners in the next part of the track. Tyler 9 plus 1 making quick work of it all. Breezing through like it's nothing and even grabbing a good position for the next part of the race. Only 10 marbles can make it though and oh no, we have some folks eliminated. Our next 10 contestants are making it into the final arena with EPA Sketch, Tyler 9 plus 1, Aftershock and the Adventure Zone in the pole position. But who will be first to make it down the middle and make a mad dash for the finish line? Oh my gosh, some marbles are colliding into one another trying to get down. And it seems Neva Slerba has managed to get down that middle hole first. Rushing through, grabbing the first place, but who will be second? Aftershock! Rinke! No! Epis! No! It's Tyler 9 plus 1! Grabbing that third place. As more and more marbles uh, head into the audience, the victory music plays. And we have our winners! Congratulations to Nivas Libra for grabbing first place, the wonderful podcast Aftershock in second, and Tyler 9 plus 1 in third. Congratulations to everyone else who also managed to finish the track as their friends and opponents cheer for them from the audience. Let's check in on the marbles who didn't really finish. First, we have Joshua Prach, who seems to have not made it past the Scramble Tower. Aww. There's Jillian A.G. Gonzalez, who fell off somewhere around here. Work on that thing, who seems to have gotten a bit uh, trapped in the debris. And myself, who seemed to have stopped here for no apparent reason other than deciding it's my track, it's probably not fair if I actually try to win. I'd like to thank Shaden for helping me figure out the logic for the fragmented bridge. And I'd also like to thank today's sponsor. Today's race has been sponsored by the vague sensation that you're forgetting something. The vague sensation that you're forgetting something. No, it's not your phone. No, you have a thing. What is it? Maybe it's just your mind playing tricks on you. Haha, <laughs> you won't know until it's too late. If you'd like to see the track and all its hidden mechanisms and details, which I didn't have time to focus on, such as the discarded marble retrieval system that runs through the entire track, snaking between walls and going up water-powered wheels, 
head on down to Marble World and look for Castle Chaos, links in the description. Or if there's interest, I may just revisit this track and make another video about it and how it works, or just race here again, but you'll have to let me know if that's something you'd like to see. I worked very hard on it, making sure it can hold up to whatever abuse other YouTubers throw at it. I'm looking at you, Mr. Sticksman. So if you enjoyed it, please let me know with a like or a comment, and you may just find a marble with your name on it next race. It's not an algorithm thing, I genuinely want to know what you think. If you enjoy these sort of videos, why not subscribe? I do marble races all the time, as well as other gaming related videos. Until next time, I've been Tomix, I currently am Tomix, and will hopefully continue to be Tomix, and I will see you in my next video.